What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Who's ready to make some more power? Got all the power right here in this box. Let's open it and take a look what's inside. Oh, a box that leads into a box. How lucky are we? All the power in the world right here. If I can get it out. Oh, look at that. Purdy. Brand new 130 amp alternator. We will be replacing our stock 105 amp alternator. And the reason why I went with this one um, for American Muscle is because in price comparison this thing is well worth the money um, you can get a, a remand one from Amazon for about 70 80 bucks this was 105 on sale through American Muscle so why not as you see in one of my other videos I think I've been having problems with the alternator so we're gonna go ahead swap out to this new one and hopefully that fixes the problem I wasn't go ahead and order the new um, wire that goes from the alternator to the battery. Um, I'm trying to wait to get that. I want to still get it, but probably after Christmas since we're close to Christmas and everything. I'd rather try not to spend the money that I don't have to. And I'm pretty sure it's the alternator and not the battery. Um, I ran a couple tests with my multimeter. So we'll see. Hopefully it is the alternator. If it's not, well, got a brand new one to stick on. And hopefully next month after Christmas, I'll get the new wire to stick on for 45 bucks. And then that way, I can start driving the car again. Now, for the disassembly and install, what you're going to need is a um, 3 8 inch drive end. That you're going to stick right in that hole. Um, that's the belt tensioner. You're going to push it over to release the pressure from the tensioner. Now that way you can pop this belt off, you're going to do that. You're going to undo this 10 millimeter. This is for the, the, the power wire that goes to the battery. And then um, there's a plug on the other side you're going to want to get to once you get it um, exposed. And then you got these two top here which are 8 millimeter. And then the bottom two are 10 millimeter. You're going to want to remove all those. And then you can go ahead and stick in your new one. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Let's get to it. And don't forget, unplug your battery. I got mine charging since the car's been sitting for a while and the alternator was drawing power from the battery. So I want to make sure it's on a full charge and it's good to go. Okay, go ahead and loosen the tension on the belt. And then you just pop that right off and just leave it sit right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and start loosening everything. You should have to take these bottom ones all the way out um, because they have the the bottom of it is open, so you can just slide it right off. Okay, now with them out, you can go ahead and undo the plug that's in the back. And it looks like to me. Somebody's like busted up the plug right there. The clip part of it. Okay, got that uh, clip off. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead, slap the new one right in. It's pretty simple. You're just gonna make sure the two um, holes line up there, and then everything else should line right up. 
and they're both cut out at the bottom so that way you just slide it right onto the, the bolts. Go ahead, plug this in since we're right here. If you hear it snap, that means it's in. Start these two top bolts. Man, this bolt's going in like butter. Okay, once all the bolts are in there, for the most part, you can go ahead and snug them the rest of the way up. I just want to make sure it's lined up and, and good before I go ahead and snug everything up. Alright, now just go ahead, put your positive wire back on. Then go ahead, put your belt back on. Make sure your belt doesn't come off somewhere else, like mine did. Make sure it all stays on, nice and even, and in the grooves. Shoo! Don't that altar there look pretty in that thing? Man, makes the rest of the motor look like junk. But hey. Replace it one part at a time, we'll get there. Go ahead, jump in it, start it up. Hopefully that fixes the problem. And go ahead and open the garage a little bit. Just get some of the fumes out of here. That should do. Let's try it out. Fingers crossed. If not, go on to buy a battery and I don't have money to waste on a battery right now. Moment of truth. No battery light. The car hasn't ran in a couple weeks, so at least. You want to check the belt too, make sure it's on uh, there properly and functioning, right? Yeah, buddy. Looking good. And shout out to one of my subscribers who commented in one of my last videos um, about me saying I was having problems with the alternator and the battery or whatnot, and they said it was probably the voltage regulator. Um, and what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to end up getting just the voltage regulator for like $20 on eBay and replacing it on my old alternator. That way I have a spare um, alternator just in case I ever need it. Um, but it could be other things besides the voltage regulator. I'm just pretty sure it is. But I'd hate to replace the voltage regulator and that not be the problem and it'd be something else inside the alternator. Um, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and just get a brand new one. And since I get a brand new one that's not remanded for $105, I can't complain. Most of them here at like AutoZone, Advanced Auto, um, O'Reilly's, just for a remanded one is over $200. So to be able to get this um, upgraded one, which is 130 instead of 105, is a lot better. And that way, if I ever decide to put a stereo system in the car, I probably won't. Um, I can, and I won't be getting the dim headlights like you see most people do when they have a sound system or something or a lot of things hooked up in their car. That was pretty simple and easy. I mean all together with me doing this video probably took me about half an hour, 45 minutes maybe that was getting everything set up. Realistically, I mean 15, 20 minutes you could be in and out with this um, taking your time. I mean if you're going fast, you could probably place it in five minutes, especially if you have power tools and not using hand tools like me. That's how to upgrade your alternator in your Mustang. I'll put a link down below to this one that's on American Muscle and like I said right now it's on sale for $105 um, 
I think it's usually like 135 or 140 maybe. Um, so if you need one, you want a spare one, go pick up this one. I highly recommend it. It has great reviews. That's why I bought it. If it didn't have good reviews, I wouldn't have bought it. Now I can start driving the car again, get back to the track, and get a new personal best. Hoping for like a 13.5, 13.6 maybe. For everybody that's still watching, I really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Till next time. Peace.